without having good people to train our next generation. It's really difficult to have really great upcoming surgeons. I like that the residents get the opportunity to kind of pick and choose through the time that they've been here over six years to figure out what's gonna work for them, what's gonna, you know, what clicks, how do they feel about things, um, what, what's gonna be best for them. The beauty of our program is that you're exposed to this so much early on you are getting a hands-on experience of what something would be like to do for the rest of your life. So something like facial transplantation uh, involves 24 hours worth of basically microsurgery. And you know, I learned early on that I can tolerate probably about 12 hours of microsurgery, but anything other than that, I'm struggling. So then when I'm more focused on breast and body aesthetics at this point, and but it's only because early on I was exposed to those cases I learned. That's one of the lovely things about this program is that you are always welcome to the OR. So day one, you know, at a 7.30 start case intern year, I was in the OR. And our attendings give us a lot of autonomy during surgery. So he was like scrubbed in, but he was sitting away from the surgery. Like he had trained them and he trusted them to be able to do the surgery. And he was keeping a very careful eye on them. But, you know, that's like a huge experience for a resident. Um, that's something that you you know, at some programs might not get to do until fellowship. It kind of keeps you going, like just the little pieces of being able to do what you know, like what you actually want to do, like you get a glimpse of like the goal and what you're working for. My favorite thing is seeing how the residents grow both independently in the operating room. I love watching them when something clicks for the first time and seeing how excited they are about figuring out, you know, that they did it. Um, and so uh, it just really, it's, it's really lovely to see um, the progress that our residents make. The relationship between the residents, even on my interview day, was very apparent. Everyone was very close. Um, there's support between everyone. Everyone is, you know, trying to work together for a common goal of doing what's right for the patient. I ran track in college, and so being a part of that team dynamic is very important to me and always having people who are looking out for you. I think family is the perfect way to describe it. It's just like a good group of residents, I think. In residency, you know, you're really busy. We have long hours. Having a group of people you can trust and rely on, um, not only to have your back at the hospital, but to kind of just help out um, with and like hang out outside of work is really um, important. I remember after my first 24 hour call shift intern year, my co-resident my year um, called me after it was done and just stayed on the phone with me until I made it home so that I could like stay awake. So that's kind of how we, we operate. We are looking for people who want to be leaders uh, in those areas that are willing to put in some time and effort to, to become really good in whatever domain they chose to pursue. That's really what we hope to foster uh, through the five years of surgical residency and, and surgical clinical training. Learning how to take care of people better, more efficiently, and with improved outcomes, and providing an environment to train the next generation of surgeons and, and physicians. Research is an important part of that. You know, that's the, that, that in many ways is the learning how to do things better, but uh, paying attention to how we do that in the context of taking care of patients uh, and educating people. Um, you know, obviously lots of overlap between those three missions. It's really important that you have welcoming general surgery program that you're going to be a part of because you'll be spending a lot of time there and I definitely felt that way here at UNC. I felt very, very welcomed and I feel like I learned a lot that prepared me well for plastics. It's really nice to be here at this program um, because you get uh, just uh, superb training in breast and body surgery, um, so much so that you're able to just go straight from residency into competitive private practice and not need a fellowship. I'm Linda Amitz. I'm the chief of UNC Division of Plastic Surgery. I'm most proud of the people. I feel like we have a really solid division of six faculty members. And what I really enjoy and what really keeps me here is the collegiality between plastic surgery and other services whereby we perform a number of cases or operations with other services that not only offers the best patient care, but also uh, certainly allows for a much more comfortable environment. All of us feel like we're never afraid to ask someone for help or ask someone a question. Something I also looked for in a program was 
uh, somewhere I could go where I didn't have to be intimidated by the attending. Um, I feel like I'm a person who learns best from someone who I know cares about me. They're here because they want us to do well um, and they care about us and they care about their patients. It'll lead to better patient outcomes and it'll make our lives as the residents better as well. I really enjoy that ability to not only see the residents really grow and evolve and mature and then graduate and then still be able to see them at meetings or giving presentations and really feeling like we still have that connection or that bond. Just that ability to not have it end at the end of residency, but to know that this is a relationship that will last for the rest of our careers is really gratifying for me. We all want to come out as well-trained surgeons and when I saw that during my med school and like my first year of intern year, like I was like, okay, like I will be, I will be a good clinical surgeon coming out of here. This is a wonderful place to raise a family. It's a place to have uh, public education that's at the highest level. At the end of their training, many of them are saying, how can I stay in this area? It's just a wonderful place. People recognize that they can fit into this community uh, no matter their background, uh, very easily. It's just an academic, enlightened place to live. Being here for six years, the residents have the opportunity to, you know, truly engage in both the breadth and the depth of plastic surgery. Our residents graduate with an exceptional volume of cases. We don't have any fellows here um, that take the cases away from the residents. And so the residents are doing the cases with the staff. We see all of the patients. And so our residents are super well-trained in dealing with all of the difficult patients. So truly anything that comes through the door here, they have really the opportunity to experience the vast offerings of what plastic surgery has.